Hello and welcome to Dungeon Defenders 2. I am playing as the Abyss Lord. I finally had him unlocked only just now. He is fresh. He's only just been unlocked and uh, he's the one character that I always wanted to unlock since the beginning, since I first like bros through the roster of the of the characters and he's pretty awesome um so for the first thing i only just acquired him so he's new he's level one um and i also gave him a little pet to add to him uh i got this little guy over here and uh yeah i wanted to add him he looks pretty cool and he looks like he would like you know be like he's he, he's kind of like a baby wraith or something i don't know with a candle on his head he looks like um What's that thing? I think it's a Pokemon that's a candle or something. I don't remember its name. Um, so, and uh, well, I've been stockpiling on, on pets, so I actually have a, a decent amount for right now. I also have a pet for each of my characters and stuff. I'm also, I have also been stockpiling these things which are required to, like, evolve your pets. Yeah, you can actually evolve them. Uh, I don't know if they actually change in appearance, but I do know that they acquire, like, abilities and stuff. You see, you actually, you can see they're evolved to unlock pet abilities and stuff. So, yeah, that's something that I definitely want to do at some point whenever I get the chance. But that requires a lot of grinding and farming, of course. Now there is something that you should very very be careful about if you are new to the game and you just you know just started and you unlock your first character or want to unlock your first character there's something that very important that you should definitely know so first off you'll actually notice here we have uh, characters here and you'll remember that I actually I had the if you have seen a previous video that I already had the huntress unlocked beforehand along with the wizard I always intended to replace the wizard with the uh, abyss lord so the, obviously he He's the one character that I would have replaced. However, um, I by accident I didn't know something. I didn't know how this works. So uh, by accident I kind of replaced the huntress. And once you replace a character, they're kind of gone forever. Uh, you can still unlock them if you have them unlocked. Uh, you can still shut up. You can still uh, unlock them. It doesn't really cost anything. You can actually just create them as long as you have them unlocked. But there is, you are limited to how many heroes you can unlock, or at least play with. So you can only have up to four, as you can see here. You can only have up to four. So if you unlock, if you create, a, if you select to create a character, uh, while you have, uh, you know, a character already, while you have a full set, that character will replace whatever character you have equipped. The character you are basically playing here, it will be replaced. So if you want to replace a character with a new character make sure you are you actually are using you have that character selected otherwise whatever character you have selected will be gone including other levels and i think all their gear as well i may have also uh yeah lost a pet because of that which sucks as all balls i mean i, I would like it if all their like everything that they had equipped including pets and armors and stuff would be like you know like given back to you in your bag but no they're just gone for whatever reason it, it, it's kind of bs but what to do i mean i mean yeah it could be done there, there could be something done but i guess nobody really cares so i'm now stuck with a huntress who's level one as well and i'm gonna have to go to the beginning all over again oh well um i do have i, I have given her a this guy, this character here, the uh, a dragon pet, whom I uh, had equipped to my wizard, which of course no longer needs it, and um, yeah, so that's something very important to do. You want to know if you're gonna unlock a new character. That said, I am, um, yeah, I'm more than willing to start a new game, uh, not a new game, uh, start over from the beginning, fresh start, uh, from the very beginning level. I'm on private, I'm on the private server, so I'm just gonna be, it's just gonna be me and uh, my abyss lord, so. Uh, let's create a uh, let's create a game on the uh, drag um, no this one the gates of Dragonfall so number one level and let's create a game it's a private game yeah so starting fresh with the Abyss Lord now this guy is pretty cool uh, he's I guess you can say he's like kind of like a necromancer and um, well he's also kind of he looks kind of like Cthulhu kind of like uh, what's his name the Moon Lord from Terraria if you've been that far um, and yeah he's definitely kind of like a Cthulhu look at him because of those squid thingies or maybe he's kind of look like an alien like stuff uh, but anyways he's actually kind of like a necromancer and um, let's see what was I thinking he's pretty cool so what are you shooting at boy 
You're shooting at the wall. No, there's something there that you're shooting at. Is this a glitch? What's there? What are you shooting? What is this mystery? My pet is desperately trying to shoot at something, but I have no idea what it is. Put yourself together, little guy. Come on. I think he's uh, he's a bit too suspenseful for uh, what's about to happen. Yeah, look at him. Look at my the Abyss Lord. He's pretty cool looking. I think among all the heroes, I think I like his appearance the most. Few games have a, like heroes as cool as this guy. I mean, I say that loosely. So, anyways, let's just go. Let's just go straight to battle. This is there, it's just a three waver, so it's not exactly a big deal. Is that a prince? Is is that what he's been attacking the whole time? <laughs> is there like a prince next door? And he's like attacking him in the face. <laughs> Die! You're not the prince here. I am the prince. <laughs> well, my, my my master. That's me. You know. So, anyways, let's acquire one of these things. Max out that. And so yeah. Um, the Abyss Lord, I've already played him in the uh, tr tr training area. There's a training area where you can actually play as, I think, for like, other characters that you may not have unlocked. And um, yeah, I was able to test him out a little bit with, you know, at his full potential, and he's actually pretty, pretty good. So I'm looking forward to playing as him. So first things first, we'll place the defenses, we'll place these guys, which are kind of like orcs. Yeah, they're skeletal orcs. Look at these guys. Look at this guy. Oh, he's awesome looking. He is awesome looking. And these guys are actually like barricades, so they will uh, block enemies and they will also attack them. They will basically bash them in the face. I mean, you can see they're actually made for bashing and stuff. So we'll add these guys here. So I'll put these guys here. And we also have one more guy, which is this little guy. This little ram. It's kind of like a... It is kind of like a ram. This guy has a really huge rage. So we'll put this guy behind him. And look at him. Oh, he's so cute. He tries to run away, then he gets pulled by the chain, and he's like, Hey, where did you think you're going? You belong to someone, you got a job to do. <laughs> that thing is so adorable, even if it's a skeleton, it's so adorable looking. <laughs> is that just me? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we'll put the ramster. We're gonna ram some enemies. We're gonna put him as well. And, um, yeah. For healing, if, it, if you don't know, every character has a self-heal. That's something that I've never seen other people do. You can press R1, then press L1, and you'll be able to heal yourself. Now, I don't know, I think that's un unlocked from the very beginning, but my character has like a... like a thing that he can actually deploy, so it's this thing. I can put it like somewhere around here. It costs mana, so... And I think you can you can only equip one, which is fine. R is nearby. Well, yeah, I can equip more than one. I can! Oh my god, so it's like... This guy can also act as a healer. It has a percentage of how long it, like, you know, it'll last, which is pretty cool. So, let's begin. Let's combat. Let's do this. So, we got traps here, but I'm not really not going to use them. So, this thing. 35,000 health. That's pretty good. 7,000. I mean, these guys are just meant for attacking. They have a, a long... They have a really long... They have a really long range. You see, you can actually see here, they're like... They, like, breathe, like... I don't know, is that, like air or fire like fire air oh now you're finally attacking and that makes sense <laughs> lol anyways so let's acquire some of these where the hell is everyone else so the uh the abyss lord's primary attack is kind of like a drain kind of like a life drain kind of if you're familiar with warlocks and stuff then you'll pretty much know exactly what kind of you know what life drain does so yeah i can also place these things which are kind of like defenses i guess they cost mana, which can be replenished by dealing damage with your primary. So you're like dealing damage. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Sell. Unsell. It's already. In it's still in the construction. There, sell. I didn't want to do that. Oh, I got a death note. Death notes. Ooh, I got a death note. Whoa, and then that's something. Anybody familiar with death note? No. Yes. I don't know. Anim. It's an anim. Anyways. Let's put one of these things here. Another more death notes. <laughs> wow. Whose name shall I write? I also have this thing which is healing me, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know if it has actually a time limit. The good thing is that, you know, I, I can just... Ancient Mysteries, huh? I can just, you know, just put it back on. Obviously, I, I, can, I need to, like, be at a specific place. I'm, like, fixed before I can actually use it. Um, don't forget you can swap heroes. Of course, I already know that. 
I, of course, uh, it's a good thing that you can actually level up your characters without having to use them that are in the same area. The only thing is gear, like you can only acquire gear for that air for the character you actually have selected. However, I'm going to be using the Abyss Lord in this video, so yeah. I'm only going to be playing as the Abyss Lord. I cannot level my character. I cannot level this thing. Okay, so then we'll add some more of these guys, right? Uh, I did not mean to do that. I just placed him in the completely wrong area. Alright, well, we'll come back to you later. I'm so excited that I just... Again, I did this... Uh, I did the exact same mistake again. Oh my goodness. It takes 50 for this guy to get placed? Really? Wow, he's expensive. Anyways, let's let's do this. And let's do this. There we go. Place. Don't just twiddle it with it. Place. There we go. There we go. Um, to activate Colossus. What? Oh, my, 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 my. I pressed X back. Okay. So, let's see here. Uh, I'm pretty much set. No need to dilly-dally. They're pretty much dying. These guys are doing uh, like a lot of damage to begin with. So, I'm looking forward to actually leveling them up and stuff. So, this is the Abyss Lord. Uh, he's a very good defender. He actually he actually specializes in defense, in fact. So, ah, oh, shit. I keep forgetting to... Ah, uh, I keep pressing L1, then something. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Let me just do this. Let me just do this. I'll get... A, I'll acquire that. I keep making that same mistake over and over. Oh, man. Okay, so we can use our primary. It has a very good range. It's very good for crowd controlling. And of course, there's also like there's also oh yeah, I also have a charge, a special charge attack. Whoa, what the hell was that? What was that? Whoa, I didn't know I had a long range attack. How interesting. Boing. Does it do anything? I can't see if it does anything. Hmm. Let me think. Let me see. Oh, these guys are dead already. Um, let's go over here. There we go. Anything? It does something. Let's charge it. And then... Boom. There we go. That's what I call something. Okay, let's just do this. Wave is done! And I think we're on the last wave, so... Yeah. So, let's just do this. There we go. Let's, approach, let's grab whatever this is. And let's put some, uh, let's play a little bit. Let's put some, uh, some of these guys somewhere around here. Shall we? I mean, we could. Nah. Well, we'll leave it. That's unnecessary. <clears throat> so, like I said, like I was primarily saying, um, I, uh, my, uh, I, 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 my first priority was to unlock the Abyss Lord. And after that, I wanted to unlock the Dryad. So... Who will basically take uh, on the? Uh, I think I'll replace the monk with the dryad because she's kind of like a support type character, similar to um, what's his name? Similar to um, well, the monk. So I definitely want to let's do, try and do this. Okay, he's gonna be going there, so we can do this. There we go. <laughs> I have no idea what this thing does. <laughs> I'll be honest. You should probably read in like its statistics as to what it does. Does it deal damage or something? I don't know. Wow, look at this guy. This guy is taking a lot of damage. Well, taking a lot of damage. He's resisting a lot of damage. And this guy is dead. Yeah. For this first wave, all you have to do is just kill the boss, and that's pretty much it. There's also another um, level, which I only just... Oh, I unlocked this guy. Ooh, I unlocked these guys. Oh, it's uh, my special. What does it do? Let's see here. How do I activate it? I think it's this and this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's this guy. <laughs> Lol. He just goes to an, on a spin attack. Anyways, so... Yeah, let's go acquire our prize, and that's pretty much uh, the first level done. Which is awesome with the Abyss Lord. I really like the Abyss Lord. Definitely going to be, like, leveling up as much as possible. Level 50, increase. Wow, look at all these tomes. Tome of Shadows, Deep Sea Tome. Deep Sea Tome? Yeah, I mean, he, he does have a skin that's kind of like, like, ocean-like, like like a kraken or something, like a squid. 
kind of lowered something so yeah I guess I can see where that can come from so yeah anyways so yeah this is my first video that I wanted to do sharing my first uh, actual like playing with the Abyss Lord like I said I did play with the Abyss Lord beforehand um, I played him on the uh, what's it called the practice maps and I think you can do the same and if it actually works out the same for everyone you can pretty much play as the uh, you can play as the Abyss Lord you can play as the Gun Witch you can play as the Dryad and you can also play as the who's the other guy who you can play with um, oh man who is the other person uh, for me, it was the Gunwitch, the Dryad, the Abyss Lord, and who else was it? Oh yeah, and the um, will you shut up? And uh, this person, the series Eve Two, whatever thingy. So yeah, uh, if you really want to practice as them, or you want to see what they're capable of before you buy them, uh, yeah, you can actually play as uh, the Abyss Lord. The series Eve, the Gun Witch, who I definitely want to get my hands on if I get the chance, and the Dryad. So my first, pr I, I acquired the the Abyss Lord first, which I'm really proud of. It's he's awesome. Just look at him. He's so cool. And uh, my next target that I'm actually looking forward to is the Dryad, because I really like. I'm a big Terraria fan, and I really want to get her, my hands on her. Uh, she also uses like abilities that are from like Terraria itself. You can actually easily see like you have the the bees from the uh, from the jungle biome. You have the the harpies. I mean, come on, who doesn't know the harpies? You need their you need feathers from them so you can make your first wings. So yeah, you should definitely know the harpies if you are a Terraria fan. The slimes, iconic characters from um, from uh, Terraria, and the uh, Nimbus, which you can actually acquire, who appears only in rain, and you can acquire a rod that actually summons him. And you know, he actually has hands. I never actually noticed his hands. Anyways, but yeah, as far as the Abyss Lord, really awesome. Looking forward to actually playing as them as as him. He has some pretty cool, um, what's it called? Some pretty cool uh, abilities. Uh, and some, he's essentially a defender. He's actually specializing, he specializes as, as a defender. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing as him and having fun. So yeah, I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, stay cool, and I'll see you later, probably in the next video with another character, or maybe uh, as I develop some other characters. I guess if you want me to, if you want to see me beat a certain level with a certain character or something, I don't know, uh, just let me know. Uh, or don't. If you don't want to, and uh, yeah, I'll I'll basically be making videos as I see, you know, if I find something that's actually interesting. So yeah, I already said everything. So yeah, bye. <laughs>